Hello there. This video, we are going to talk about Seagate expansion, desktop, external hard drive repair, and data recovery. Inside of a Seagate expansion desktop external hard drive case is a Seagate 3.5 inches SATA hard drive. Seagate expansion desktop external hard drive problems can be categorized into four. Problem one, power adapter damage. Problem two, SATA to USB adapter damage. Problem three, hard drive PCB board damage. Problem four, hard drive disk assembly damage. Power adapter damage. This picture shows the two common damage points on the power adapter. The solution to fix this kind of problem is uh, replace the power adapter or fix it. Problem 2. Set it to USB adapter damage. Solutions. 1. Fix the adapter directly. 2. Connect the hard drive to another set it to USB adapter or another external enclosure or another computer. The second solution, in the most cases, is much more easier than the first one. Breaking the port connector is very common in portable hard drives. Because the connector is soldered on the very thin PCB board, this is the most fragile part of a portable hard drive. One side of the connector is a heavy hard drive relatively to the thin PCB board. Another side is a fixed computer. The connector is like a fragile bridge in between. And also, every time when you use the portable hard drive, you need to plug and unplug the portable hard drive. Sometimes the power connector is broken, but most of the time it's the USB port is broken. And most likely, the broken part is the thin PCB board which is inside of a portable hard drive. Problem 3. Hard drive PCB board damage. Solutions. 1. Clean the PCB board. 2. Repair the PCB board. 3. Swap the PCB board. Method 1. Clean the contacts. Clean the contacts on the PCB board and also on the hard drive can fix the problem caused by the poor connection between the PCB board and the hard drive. This picture shows the basic components on the PCB board and their functions. The most vulnerable parts on the PCB board are USB port, USB IC, and motor IC. Fixing hard drive PCB board method 3 PCB board swap. PCB board swapping including two steps. One, find the correct donor PCB board. Two, PCB board firmware transfer. PCB board swap step one. Take the hard drive out from the enclosure, find out the brand name of the hard drive and the model number of the hard drive. Locate the PCB board number Different brand name, different model number, different PCB board. The PCB board number and the location are different. If you have difficulty to find out the PCB board number of your hard drive, you may go to hdd-parts.com, input the hard drive model number and some information on the PCB board to find out a similar hard drive and a similar PCB board number as a reference, so you can eventually find out your PCB board number. After knowing the hard drive model number and the PCB board number, you may use them as a reference to search for the correct donor board. We found the correct donor PCB board for the hard drive, but this is only the first step. The next step is we have to do the PCB board firmware transfer to make the donor board work on the original hard drive. 
PCB board swap step 2 PCB board firmware transfer PCB board firmware PCB board firmware is the information data on the PCB board. It may be in the memory chip or in the main chip on the PCB board. For this model hard drive, we have to do the PCB board firmware transfer first, then we swap the PCB board. Otherwise, the new board will not work on the original hard drive. Why do we have to do the PCB board firmware transfer? Because for this model hard drive, one PCB board includes two parts, hardware and firmware. The PCB board firmware includes hard drive's unique configuration data. The hard drive needs this unique configuration data to work. So, we have to transfer this unique configuration data from the original board to the donor board. Then the donor board can work on the original hard drive. Regarding the hard drive PCB board firmware transfer, we have three things to mention. First, PCB board firmware transfer is different from the hard drive firmware upgrade. The PCB board firmware transfer is to transfer the PCB board firmware from one board to another board. The hard drive firmware upgrade is to upgrade the hard drive's own firmware. It nothing to do with another hard drive or another PCB board. Second, we can do the PCB board firmware transfer from the physically damaged PCB board, like a burned, watered, or other kind of damage. Our PCB board firmware transfer success rate is more than 95%. Third, we do the PCB board firmware transfer for our clients for free. We receive many questions regarding the hard drive PCB board firmware, also called hard drive PCB board bias, and the hard drive PCB board compatibility. So let's talk a little bit more about this in general. Some PCB board BIOS are in the independent memory chip like the first picture shows. Some PCB board's BIOS are integrated into the main IC, like the second picture shows. Most of the modern hard drive PCB boards need to do the BIOS transfer before swapping the PCB board. Even the donor boards are identical with the original boards in hardware we have to transfer the BIOS from the original board to the donor board. Then the donor board can work on the original hard drive. The third picture shows some of these PCB boards. But there are some hard drive PCB boards do not need the BIOS transfer. As long as the donor boards are identical with the original boards, you can swap the boards directly. The fourth picture shows some of these kind of boards. If you have any questions such as how to find a donor board, if your board need to do the bias transfer, where is the bias of your PCB board? how to swap your PCB board. Please go to www.hdd-parts.com to check it out. Or you may take pictures of your hard drive and the PCB board and email to us. We will give you the correct answer. This picture illustrated the procedure of fixing a hard drive PCB board. First, the clients sent in their PCB board. 
Two, we fix the PCB board. Three, we ship back the PCB board to the clients. If the hard drive disk assembly is damaged, we can do disk data recovery to recover the data from the disks. The common symptoms of hard drive disk assembly failure are the following. 1. Hard drive makes weird sound. 2. Spin nicely but no access to any computer. 3. Hard drive no spin. Tips. If the storage configured as mirrored hard drives, you can take the bent hard drive out, then put same size or bigger size another hard drive into the bay, and then the storage will mirror the data to the new hard drive automatically. If this trick doesn't work, that means the two mirrored hard drives are both damaged, or the storage was configured as read zero, that means the two hard drives are different. There are some simple ways to recover data from a hard drive. One of them is try to read the hard drive by different devices, like different external hard drive adapters, computers, or enclosures. Because different devices use different ways to read a hard drive, sometimes this trick works. Another way is swapping the hard drive PCB board. Swapping the hardware PCB board can fix the problem caused by the PCB board. There is a cost in swapping the PCB board, but it is way cheaper than sending the hard drive to a data recovery firm. Cool down the hard drive by putting the hard drive under a fan is always a good idea to rescue a hard drive if the hard drive experienced overheat problem. Overheat is a common hard drive problem. Cooling down a hard drive is always a good idea. We prefer to take the problem hard drive out from the enclosure or from the computer, and also let the PCB board facing the fan, because it is the PCB board who generates the heat to the hard drive. This picture shows the procedure how we do data recovery for our clients. First, the client send their hard drive to us. Second, we do data recovery. Third, we ship back the data to our clients. Thank you so much for taking your precious time to watch my video. Any comments are really appreciated if this video is a little bit of help, could you please click on like to support me? Thank you again. Bye.